we want to solve the separable differential equation dy dx equals negative 0.4 times y, then find the particular solution satisfying the initial condition y of zero equals two. This differential equation is separable because it can be written in either of these two forms here. If a differential equation is separable, our goal is to write a function of y times dy equals a function of x times dx. Once we have the differential equation in this form here, we'll integrate both sides of the equation and solve for y. A differential equation that fits this form here, where we have the first derivative equals a constant times a function y, ends up being a special type of differential equation where we can take a shortcut to find the general or particular solution. But in this case, we'll go through the process and solve it using separation of variables, then emphasize the shortcut once we finish. So for given dy dx equals negative 0.4 times y, let's first write this in differential form so we can think of multiplying both sides of the equation by dx. So we would have differential y equals negative 0.4y times dx. Notice how we want this y on the left side with differential y. So now we can multiply both sides of the equation by one over y. Notice on the right, the y's simplify out, and therefore we have one over y times differential y equals negative 0.4 times dx. So now our differential equation is in the correct form where we have a function of y times dy equals a function of x times dx. So now we'll integrate both sides of the equation. The antiderivative of one over y with respect to y would be natural log absolute value y plus c, but we'll also have a plus c on the right, so we'll only put the plus c on the right. So this is equal to the antiderivative of negative 0.4 with respect to x, that would be negative 0.4x plus, let's call it c sub one. Now our goal here is to solve this equation for y, not natural log y, so we'll write this log equation as an exponential equation where natural log has base e, and therefore e raised to the power of negative 0.4x plus c sub one must equal absolute value of y. So e raised to the power of negative 0.4x plus c sub one must equal, well notice how the left side here is always positive, so we can drop the absolute value and just write y. Notice y is a function of x, so let's write this as y of x equals, notice how here we're adding the exponents, which means you can write this as a product where we would have e raised to the power of negative 0.4x times e raised to the power of c sub one. But e to the power of c sub one is just a constant, so let's let c be equal to e raised to the power of c sub one and therefore we can say that y of x equals this constant which we're calling c times e raised to the power of negative 0.4x. This is what's called the general solution to the differential equation. But because we also know that y of zero equals two, we can find the value of c and therefore find the particular solution. If y of zero equals two, the function value is two when the input or x is zero. So this would give us the equation two equals c times e raised to the power of, well if x is zero, this would be e to the zero, which is equal to one, and therefore c is equal to two. And therefore, the particular solution to the given differential equation with the initial condition y of zero equals two would be y of x equals c, which is two, times e raised to the power of negative 0.4 times x. And again, this is called the particular solution. Now if we take a look at the particular solution and the given differential equation, 
and the initial condition, notice how this constant here, negative 0 0.4, is the coefficient of x in the numerator. And the initial condition two ends up being c, the coefficient of the exponential. Meaning if we have a differential equation where the first derivative is equal to a constant times the function y, we can take a shortcut to find the general or particular solution. Meaning, if the rate of change of y with respect to t is proportional to y, meaning dy dt equals a constant k times the function y, then the general solution is y of t equals c times e raised to the power of kt, again where k is this constant, and c would be the initial value of y or y of zero. K is called the constant of proportionality, which would also be the exponential growth or decay rate, where if k is positive, it's the exponential growth rate, and if k is negative, it's the exponential decay rate. So in a future problem, we'll use this shortcut if we have a differential equation that fits this form here. I hope you found this helpful.